Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a wonderful Mandela Effect day and, and everything's going just as God intended. Uh, we have a brand new Mandela Effect as of August. Uh, I've been a little bit behind here. <laughs> um, but somebody's hungry. Isn't that right, Teresa? Teresa wants a Scooby snack. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a Scooby snack, all right? Anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bro, 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 bro. Thank you, Brian. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> All right, so check this out. This is Scooby Doo. Uh, the the opening theme. Check this out. Nothing's changed here, but I do want to open up with this. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, back up a minute, where's the Adam's apple? Wait, Shaggy and Scooby are missing their Adam's apples, that's what it looks like. Oh my god, it's gone, Brian. Alright, so this, this actually goes back to, um, I have to give credit to um, Reality Shifter for making this video, okay, back in August. There's a new Mandela effect with Shaggy's Adam's apple on Scooby-Doo. Question is, where is it, right? And I, I can tell you, honestly, I remember the Adam's apple, and it also had hairs poking out of it, like little tiny hairs. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? And I agree with you, Brian, on that one. Yep, and, and it goes back to um, this Reddit post here, like three months ago, back in August when I was um, looking at this. Uh, okay, so anyway, this Reddit user, my sister, brother, and I had an in-joke when we were younger that our brother looked like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo because they both had comically large, uh, massive Adam's apples. We all remember this in-joke, but inspection reveals that Shaggy never had an Adam's apple. So a lot of people here are agreeing. If we go back to this video here, there's 102 people that thumbed it up and only six down. So that tells you there, there's an effect there. Something, you know, something's blocking out that old memory, I think. But a lot of us do remember it. So honestly, I remember him having one, but I don't remember it being huge, except for two moments that everyone's naming off, eating and nervous gulping. Then again, the first Scooby-Doo show I watched was the movie where they broke the laws of, um, they break the laws of reality. They were physically put into cyberspace. Yeah, see, that, that's a lot of people have like a dual memory on this one. Isn't that right, Teresa? Yes, yes. And, you know, there's drawings out there like this one, for instance. Um, Teresa shared with me some residue. Uh, by the way, thank you for finding that. Are you but welcome. Virtually, uh, yeah, but virtually like every picture you see now, where is that Adam's apple? It's like, it, 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 I, it, think, <laughs> I think it's another sign about. The Adam's apple, you know. Yeah, what does that mean, though? I mean, it, it, are, is it related to the Bible, you think? Yes, yes. Yes, I'm going to read something there. I had oh, a little bit of information here I wanted to share with you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Teresa. All right, let me, let oh, me get gosh. it back up. Um, and, it, and it changes the tattoos. Here's a girl with a tattoo on her back, Scooby and Shaggy, and, and where's the Adam's apple? Just seems so naked now. Uh, the history, um, hold on. The name Adam's Apple was named, um, let me get some information. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. It is. It's called the Adam's Apple as a reference to the forbidden fruit, which according mm -hmm. to a traditional Jewish belief, got stuck in Adam's throat. Different languages use the same term, for instance, Adam's apple, which is Dutch, Palm de Adam is French, and Adam Sapfel, can't say that, it's German. Until the 19th century, the medical term was also generally Pomum, P O M U M, Adam I. I guess that's kind of the language for the medical term. Um, when the Basile Nomina Anatopica. A N A T O M I C A was introduced in 1895. It became prom 
let me spell it because I can't. I'm going to mess it up. P r o m i n e n t i a laryngia, and I can think that's where laryngitis comes from. Yes, laryngitis. Yeah. yeah, and and there's residue. Laryngitis. Yeah. That's that's important to note. Okay, and it and it has to do with the. Um, you know, the, the, some of the anatomy changes that people are, are remembering the, uh, I guess the larynx a little bit different. The, the thyroid, I guess, yeah. has changed on some people and or uh, changed on everybody. Uh, uh, and, and I have, like, friends that are in the medical field that have, that have said this has changed. We have, like, this new bone now in the, in the neck, which is really bizarre. Yes. But the, this residue here, uh, you know... I found a book, it's called By Any Means, and it says right here, now I know this isn't the same Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, but they're referring to a Shaggy's Adam's Apple here, swallowed and look around the park, see? There's, um, here, here's a website, dariawiki.org, uh, it says here, Shaggy, a silent background character in Daria and the old Oh the Obscurity flipbook on MTV's website. The Daria artist like this Mellow dude so much that he acquired the nickname Shaggy. Named for his uncanny and deliberate resemblance to Shaggy Rogers of Scooby-Doo fame, right? And it's, it describes Shaggy right here. Shaggy is a skinny teen with unkempt, light brown or dirty blonde hair who wears an olive green t-shirt, baggy gray or mauve pants, okay, but they were actually brown in the Scooby-Doo show, and stylish sunglasses. I remember brown. Yeah. Stylish sunglasses even, sunglasses even indoors. His earrings appear to have a long animal canine dangling from each. Okay, that wasn't our Shaggy, but anyway. He has a long neck with a prominent Adam's apple. There you go, folks. And his mouth is perpetually twisted to one side as if considering something or expressing mild disdain. So, there, there you go. A little bit of proof you know, of our Shaggy, okay? I know it's not exactly right, but it's close enough. Um, another... I think a lot of people are going to remember his Adam's apple, because that's... Mm -hmm. It was pretty prominent, you know what I mean? Yeah, and there's another one that I'm remembering from Shaggy, and this, this to me, is a brand new Emmy, the, um, just as I promised. I, I think... I'm, I'm very certain that he said Zoiks. I'm remembering Zoiks. Yep. Z-O-I-K-S. And if you hear him now, yep. he says zoinks. It's really weird. I know you got to yes. play it back to hear yes. it, but what? what yeah, I'm a fat ass. Here's residue. Uh, zoinks? I don't want to get. Uh, zoinks? I don't. You see zoinks? Yep. And what, listen to this guy, I heard Scooby it. Scooby Zoinks. Uh, thank you, Daniel Stapleman. Check this out. All right, go. Zoinks, I can't stop. Hang on, let me. He said Zoics. All right, go. Zoics, I <laughs> Okay, so uh, there, there you have that one. And then this is what he sounds like now. This is just a, a Zoinks is what he says now. It's on repeat. I don't know. I, I'm hearing it, it. It's flipping back and forth on that one. That's the thing. I'm hearing, but I'm hearing the end in there. The zoinks. I'm hearing. That's that. what I'm saying. That's what and, he and says it's like now. You can hear it both ways. I know. I'm hearing both on that one. It's so zoinks, weird. Zoinks, 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 zoinks. But there definitely it does sound like zoinks. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a change. That's yes. what I'm saying. I'm it's, calling it out right like now that this. Yeah. I I always remembered him saying zoinks and look. Here's all these memes. Let's, let's see what your um, let's see what Zoics. your viewers think about that one. I know I'm gonna ask you guys out there. What do you remember about him saying Zoinks yeah. or Zoinks? Yeah, let's. Because we know his Adam's apple changed. We can put that one out as a. We should do that Zoics, one as a possible Zoics, Mandela. The Zoinks one. Zoinks. That's four. Um, and if you look up the definition, there's a bunch of zo Zoics. But if you look up the definition of Zoics, okay, um, Urban Dictionary. 
It's an exclamation of surprise, typically expressing fear or dismay. It's a real term. In fact, there's a Wiktionary. Let's see what it sounds like. If there's a... Sometimes they have a, an audio where you can hear it. This one apparently doesn't. The dic see, a dictionary should have an audio. Um, <laughs> okay, there's there's alternative forms apparently. There's zoik, zoikas, and there's zoinks. Z zoinks is actually a real word too. Okay, it says here. That's and it, this is That's weird scary. because... The earliest and most commonly known usage of the term was from the American cartoon Scooby-Doo. Zo this is for Zoinks, where it was used regularly by one of the main characters, Norville Shaggy Rogers. Okay, so I didn't know his name was Norville. That's a new one on me. Hey, listen. Zoinks? Zoinks? Zoinks. Don't forget Jinkies. That was, uh, Jinkies was what's-her-name's term. That was, uh, Velma. So, so don't forget that. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm I'm on the fence on this one, but I, I do remember Zoics. You know what I'm saying? And these people do, too, as residue. I mean, maybe, maybe is it possible we're just hearing it wrong back in the day? I, I don't know, but I always remember Zoics. I, I would imitate Shaggy and say Zoics. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Anyway, guys, uh, hit that like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, to follow, and I'm going to be keeping up with your emails, catching up. Uh, you know, I'm only one man doing it alone, so, um, but I have you, and I have such great um, residue hunters like Teresa out there. Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome, Brian. And have a great Mandela effect night, everybody. God bless. God bless.